In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at this Cronova XPE660 projector home entertainment system up next. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by, for checking out this video. My name is Jeff, and on this channel, I do all sorts of different tech, toy, gadget reviews, home improvement projects, and more. If that sounds like something you're into, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos. And as always, anything I talk about in this video will be linked down in the description below so you can click over and take a look at more details about this projector at any time during this video. So let's take a look at this projector. Before we go into the details, I want to show you guys what came with it. So let's head over to the unboxing. We have our power cable, our HDMI cable, RCA cables, all sorts of paperwork, and our remote. Nice padded packaging. So let's take a closer look at the projector itself. So starting on the front, We've got our rubber lens cap that comes with it. Uh, in addition to that, to raise or lower the projector, you've got the screwable or unscrewable foot that's on the front here. And I'm able to get pretty high with it. As you are angling the projector, when you go into the settings, there is a keystone setting that allows you to change how the screen is gonna look. So if you are angling up or if you're angling down with your projector, you're gonna notice that the screen is gonna start to become skewed. So it's not just gonna be a rectangle, it's gonna you know, look almost like a trapezoid of some sort. You can use that keystone feature to fix how the screen is gonna look once you've got the projector set up. When this thing is turned on, I'm able to see two fans running on this side on the inside. Uh, the projector itself doesn't seem to get super hot. It does have that LED bulb inside of it, but uh, it definitely does get warm when it's running. On the top, we have all the buttons for all of our different controls, and other than that, it's a nice, simple design. So as we come around to the back, we have all of our different ports. We're gonna have everything from our USB ports, HDMI ports, where you're gonna plug the thing in, and your on-off switch. On this side, we've got our VGA port, as well as some sound ports. So in addition to the speakers, which I believe are also on this side, that are on this projector, you also have ports that you can uh, output your audio so if you're looking for uh, if you've got a sound system and you're looking for a little bit more uh, than what the projector speakers offer you can always output the sound as well so in looking at the bottom of this projector you have your rubber feet and i was able to pry one of those rubber feet off and the screw that you see right here is a screw from a projector mounting kit that i have one of the universal mounting kits that uh, i'm actually using for one of my other projectors but that screw fits perfectly into the screw holes that are underneath these rubber feet. Just letting you know that. So if you are looking to ceiling mount or maybe pole mount one of these projectors, you are able to do that with the screw holes that are on the bottom. So this projector has 5,000 lux. Definitely very bright. I'll show you some examples here on the wall in just a little bit. It's running three fans in it to keep it cool. It doesn't get super hot, but it does get warm when it is running. And in addition to that, it is using an LED bulb, which is rated for 50,000 hours, which in my opinion is pretty cool. I have owned older projectors that I'm still running that do not have LED bulbs in them. And if those bulbs burn out, those things are not cheap. A lot of times they're well over $100. So with this having an LED bulb, which is rated for uh, 50,000 hours, you're probably never going to have to replace the bulb uh, inside of this projector. And that brings us to the remote that is included with the projector. So the remote takes two AAA batteries, which were not included. The remote was super convenient because I used this 
more than the buttons that were on the projector to change all the different settings and go into all the different menus. One of the highlights about the remote is it has a button right in the middle that is going to allow you to flip the screen. So if you are doing a reverse projection and you don't want to go through all the different menu settings, you can actually just click that button that's on the top of this remote and it's easily going to flip the screen for you. So I wanted to give you some examples here of how the picture is going to look coming out of the projector. Some stats for you right now, I've got the projector pulled eight feet back from the wall that it is projecting on. It is creating a video screen that you see of roughly five feet wide. And in the room that we're in, the wall that this is being projected on is actually painted gray. It is not a white wall and it still seems to have a very crisp picture. I also have four lights on in this room off to either side, two LED down lights uh, that are providing some side light in the room can still see a very bright, crisp picture. And uh, I wanted to show you an example of that. I'm gonna turn those lights off now and we now have the room darkened and this is the image that we get with all of those side lights off. The colors on the projector, I think are very good. I do think that they could be possibly a little bit bolder, brighter. I do know in the settings, you can go in and mess with some of the color preferences. I tried doing that. This is the best quality that I felt I could get for the colors. I can't wait to find out your drone. Overall, it's amazingly small, lightweight, and easy to take with you on the road. So this is some um, footage from one of our other videos, but this gives you an example of some of the sound coming out of the projector. You can insert a USB or a flash drive into the back of the projector, and if you've got files on there, whether they're images or movies, um, you can then go into the menus here, choose the file that you might want to view, and then you can play. And that's going to be right from the USB drive right on the projector. Here's some video from my drone that I've got that I was taking and doesn't have any audio with it, but gives you an idea here that you can also play an MP4 file on this. Uh, I've been able to play MOV files and also wanted to show you hooking up my laptop computer through the HDMI port. Um, if you're going to use this for presentations or anything, just kind of giving you uh, an idea here of if you're planning on using this projector for maybe doing PowerPoint, slideshow presentations, you're gonna get a, a good picture as well. I've set the projector up outside. And if you're thinking of maybe using this projector to show a movie night uh, outside on your garage or something, the projector currently is set up 15 feet away from our garage door. It is casting an image that is just over 10 feet wide on our garage door. And you can see the colors and the crispness of the picture on the screen. Our garage door is not flat. It's got some texture to it, but you can still see the picture quality very well. And it's completely dark outside right now. And the projector is very bright. So I want to give you my final thoughts and review on this projector. I think this is a great budget projector. I don't think this is a top of the line projector, but if you are looking for something that's going to give you great quality and that's very affordable, this is definitely a projector that I would recommend. I hooked my laptop computer up to it, DVD player. You can hook up video games to this thing. You can even buy a separate cable, a lightning cable to HDMI or a type C to HDMI cable and directly hook your smartphone or your tablet right up to this projector. And that is very convenient. Something else is having the LED bulb inside this projector and knowing that I've got up to 50,000 hours of life and not having to worry about changing a bulb. The fact that this projector is just over $200 as of the filming of this, it uh, was coming in at $229.
the uh, the price point for this projector I think is very appealing to a lot of people that might not need a projector that's going to do everything under the sun. So this wouldn't be a true review if I didn't give you a couple of cons that I found with this projector. So I think it's a great projector, but I do wish that it came with some sort of a carrying bag or some sort of a carrying case. All you get with this projector is the box. The other thing that I just wish that somehow they could incorporate is with focusing the lens. Right now you have to manually move the lens with your hand. If there was some way that they could motorize that or incorporate it into the remote so that you can just push a button or two so that you don't have to be turning this lens. And this is quite a big lens on the front of this thing to have to be turning all the way out or cranking all the way back in to focus the projector. Uh, that would be a nice feature if they would add that. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on this projector? Or what are some of the things that you look for or are considering some of those factors that you're concerned about when you are shopping for projectors. Please leave your comments down in the description below. I love reading your comments. And as always, if you liked this video, be sure to smash that like button. My name is Jeff, this is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.